Hey everyone, I'm John from HabitAware and I'm really excited to work with you on setting up Keen for the first time. So in this video, uh, we're assuming that you purchased Keen, it came to you, you took a look at all the contents on the inside, um, and maybe played with it a little bit, but definitely charged it up. So my device is charged up and I'm ready to get started. So I'm going to be using an Android device, but the process is pretty similar for iOS. So the first thing you do on Android is go to the Play Store. And then you're going to search for Habit Aware Keen. And go ahead and install. Once it's installed, go ahead and open it up. And it's going to ask you for a, allowing access to a device's location. Really, it's just an Android thing, so go ahead and allow that. And then it'll proceed to search for the bands nearby. So I've got mine right here. Make sure it's nice and close. So what I've done here is I've made sure to plug in Keen. And I'm going to go ahead and push Update. So it's going to go ahead, it's going to start the update, and it's going to take sort of two different parts um, for it to update. Part one is it's going to make sure that it can download everything. Part two is going to install it to the band. So we'll just kind of sit here and wait. Okay, so uh, the second stage has finished and now I have my done label with the exit button. Uh, the next step is to go ahead and hit exit. So I hit exit and uh, when, I, when my app refreshes, it shows the band now with a setup button, um, which means it's loaded with the new firmware. So that's great, it's ready to go. Sometimes it doesn't always go super smooth, so if it didn't go smooth for you, if for some reason it locked up during the update process or your phone died or went to sleep or something and for some reason you couldn't finish everything, don't worry, just go ahead, try again, hit the update button and try to keep going in, uh, until it finishes. However, if, if even then it didn't do it, if you can't find your band for some reason, if it's just not showing up, there are a few things we can try. So the first thing we can try is taking your band um, plugging it in and then just unplugging it. And so what that does is does just a real quick reset on the device and then go back to your app, pull to refresh in the app and see if your band shows up again. If it's still not showing up, there's another thing we can try. Um, we can click and hold the button for 20 seconds. So I'm holding the button right now and I'm going to feel four distinct vibrations. The first vibration is going to happen immediately when I press the button to acknowledge, you know, to have the device acknowledge that I pressed it. The second vibration will happen three seconds later, third, 10 seconds later, and then the fourth will be 20 seconds later. After that fourth vibration, we can go ahead and release the button, plug the USB cable back in, notice that the charge light is doing its thing, and then remove the cable. And so that factory default um, resets the device. So now it's back to its factory default settings. So then I'll go back to my app, pull to refresh, and hopefully my band now shows if it didn't show up before. If it is still not showing, um, there's one last thing we can try, and this is um, a bit tricky, but we can force an update um, through a special procedure by plugging in Keen, clicking and holding the button, and then while I'm still holding the button, remove the USB. And so what that does is forces it into a special mode that allows it to be updated. And so I can then pull to refresh on the app. And instead of uh, setup, it'll show update. Or if it wasn't showing before, hopefully now it shows with the update button. So this is what it looks like on Android on an iOS device. Uh, there probably won't be two bands, you'll probably see just one um, with the update button, hopefully, and it might be blank instead of a band. So now we can go ahead and update. And if, those are, if you're still having issues and it's still not updating properly, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at Thank you.